So Coco Bandicoot isn't being voiced by Debbie Derryberry in Crash 4, it's about time, but she is voicing Coco in Crash Bandicoot on the run, the mobile game. This doesn't really bother me personally, and as someone whose favorite character is Coco, I'm actually open to the new voice that Coco has, and I like it. I was so unbothered by it that I didn't even mention it in a taunted reaction video while actually acknowledging that Coco sounded completely different. To me, this isn't really new or foreign because Debbie wasn't the voice for Coco in two other Crash games prior to this happening, which was two, Cortex Strikes Back, and Crash Team Racing. No, not that one. Yeah, this one. I've been seeing a theory going around that Debbie could be voicing a different Coco from another dimension, and while I'm open to that as an idea, to me it just comes off as wishful thinking. Not that it's a bad thing, it's just that if she's not voicing the character, then she's not voicing the character. A voiceover artist, unless they are the creative director or main producer or just have the power to call shots of a project, do not voice whoever they want within the project when they want, if they want. That's up to whoever owns the IP, in this case Activision. Perhaps Activision A wanted a new voice direction so they chose someone else, that is if Activision genuinely cares about the Crash series up to that degree which is up in the air, B didn't like the execution of the lines from Debbie, which I doubt, but it's still possible because we don't know, and I personally don't care to know that much because that's behind closed doors, C maybe Debbie just didn't feel like overworking herself with Coco, especially with this pandemic going on. If I'm being honest, it's probably A or C, but who knows. Like I mentioned before, I'm fine with Coco's new voice, but to say absurd things like It isn't a Crash Bandicoot game without you voicing Coco in it is almost like saying the original Crash Team Racing and Crash 2 Cortex Strikes Back aren't Crash games because Debbie is not voicing Coco in those games. I guess since Crash 4 is going to be narrative driven for a good majority or at least a good portion, I can see why a certain voiceover artist people associate with a certain character would be integral for a particular media. I'm not here to disagree or agree, I'm just stating my two cents on the matter. And that's all I have to say. You all be easy. Peace.